Boris says Marlins have turned into a pawn shop. It's been nearly five days since the Miami Marlins traded Giancarlo Stanton to the New York Yankees. And still the bedraggled franchise remains the butt of jokes and source of acrimony. Super agent Scott Boris became the latest to jump the Marlins, using his annual winter meetings press session to liken the Marlins to a pawn shop. We've seen one of our major league jewelry stores become a pawn shop. Barr is told a gaggle of reporters at baseball's winter meetings in Lake Buena Vista, Florida the Marlins certainly have the right to rebuild after winning just 77 games and with a new ownership group saddled with old debt needs to get the franchise on solid footing. But the manner in which the Stanton trade, engineered by Chief Operating Officer Derek Jeter, went down lingers over these winter meetings. Derek may be the first to admit, hey. I would do some things maybe a little differently. I don't know that. But I kind of look back to Derek's first year in pro ball. He makes 58 errors, 50-something errors at shortstop, and we know what happened after that. Derek may be the first to admit, hey, I would do some things maybe a little differently, manager Don Mattingly said of Jeter during his media session Wednesday. I don't know that. But I kind of look back to Derek's first year in pro ball. He makes 58 errors, 50-something errors at shortstop, and we know what happened after that. He's got a lot on his plate, a lot going on, a lot happening very fast, but I fully expect any adjustments that he has to make or that he thinks he has to make, we're just going to move forward. I have to make adjustments as manager. GM, Mike Hill has to make adjustments. I'm sure Derek, in his own mind, will make the adjustments that he has to make.